Surely this appalling desecration of the funeral of Shireen Abu Akla is evidence, if any more were needed, of the crime of apartheid that is being inflicted upon the Palestinian people and which has been rigorously documented by Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International and the Israeli human rights organisation B'Tselem. Instead of passing laws to ban local authorities and civil society from taking action against this brutal occupation, isn't it time to accept the legal analysis of these human rights organisations and do the right and moral thing and impose sanctions in response to this appalling criminality? Minister. Mr Speaker, so I'm afraid I need to disagree with the honourable gentleman because we don't believe that boycotts, divestments or sanctions would help to create an atmosphere that would be conducive to peace. Um, I note the word that he used uh, of, of apartheid. We don't use that terminology and we don't agree with its use because it is a legal, a legal term and therefore a judgment on whether or not you can use that term and needs to come under international law by a judicial decision. And it's really, really important because it is a legal term. Um, and actually, I, one thing I do agree with him, though, is that civil society always plays an important part in a democracy.